Welcome back to Episode 2 of On the Ball. After a great win in the first game, tonight sees Bristol United travel to Bristol Barcelona for what will be a very tough fixture. The spirits are very high after the 8-0 victory last week, but the team know it's important to follow that up with a strong performance. Top goalscorer Tom Blake remains injured and will be a miss, but apart from that, everyone else is fit and raring to go. Today's lineup is in goal, Paul Cameron. In defense is Jack Gilberson, Josh Cleveley, Mike Gilberson, and Ben Jeffrey. In midfield, Captain Callum Rowan, Sam Morgan, Josh Gilberson, and Billy Gilberson. Up front today, Lewis Robinson and Dino Harrison. Substitutes are Dan Little, Jamal Caesar, Tyrese Chevalo, Paul Rushbrook, and Joel Phillips. Manager is John Gilberson. Before we move on, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support is much appreciated. Let's get into the highlights of today's game. Oh, 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 oh,
Half time score Bristol Barcelona 2, Bristol United 1. Not a great first half from United against a very well drilled Barcelona team. Are Bristol United once again struggling to come out the blocks in a midweek fixture? Let's get into the second half highlights and see if United can get themselves back into this game. Nice. Change for the second half. It's not same personnel. We're going 4 4 2. Sam back in midfield with Cal. Phil on the left mid. Joshua on the right mid. Dino and um, Lewis up front. Right. Standard 4 4 2. Right. The first half. Right. I know you got sun, no sun, but our touch has been shot. It, it, it's been shot. So we've well, we, plenty of endeavour to an extent. <laughs> But our, our lack of composure on the ball, we ain't well, you ain't pumping out of it. That's probably one little bit we scored from. We've got to start getting this ball down and be composed and knocking it around. The disappointing thing for me there the first half was that they were great performers at all. They were a yard quicker than 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 a They're quicker to the ball, quicker to the fucking header, and that little bit tough. That shouldn't be. That shouldn't be. The second half. Remember the other week, what we said, when we started losing the first half against whatever fucking took the tour marks up? We've got to do that first and foremost this second half. We've got to win the battles. They're stepping in a yard at to a goal goal, a 50-50 goal. They're stepping in a yard at a goal goal. That can't be the second half. We've got to do the nasty on the way to the goal 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 second half. On the ball, now it's going to be a stand. You know the position. We've got to have one. We've got to work it short. We've got to work it right. I don't even mind going down low, but whatever we do, we've got to do it with a bit of quality because they've been fucked all in the first half. This game is 2 1 down. This will change the fucking arc. And it will change because we're going to up it now. But we've got to have the quality. That little bit of quality. Come on, Ravi. Come on, one or two of us. Go on in. 
That's a joke on my panel, sir. Full-time score. Bristol Barcelona 2. Bristol United 2. A great game of football from both sides with a draw likely to be a fair result. United did get their chances in the second half, and without some great saves from the opposition keeper, United will feel slightly unfortunate to not come away with maximum points. However, four points from their opening two games is a massive step up on last season's terrible start. Let's get some input from some of the players. Right, gentlemen. Won a bad point at the end of the day there. Um, first half, I thought, I thought we was a bit ropey. I don't mean we, was, we weren't bad. Um, I thought back four, we, we, we looked dodgy uh, first half. I know the sun was low, but our kicking connection of the ball, I thought was a little bit fucking dodgy. 
but second half, um, we ramped it right up. Second half, we uh, we certainly picked it up. The, the little part what was just I'm a bit a little bit angry about was our not our play because we could play bad. We could play with heavy touches. We could play for whatever. You could play shit. That's allowed. They they was faster than us and stronger than us. Not by million miles, but they was faster and stronger than us. That makes me a little bit like we fucking but done it the second half stepped up but we got to do that right from the first half it probably wouldn't have made no difference but it, we could have been going in fucking even with that or even 2-1 up you just don't know so we got to make sure we're fucking aggressive and when somebody's faster and stronger and stepping in front of the ball we got to make sure actually fucking i don't need a manager to signal this we should be doing that ourselves but second half i thought we was much much better second half um, I don't think we would, the quality was there throughout the game tonight. We had it in patches, especially more the second half. Probably a draw was a fair result. Um, uh, uh, balanced over 90 minutes. But, I mean, we did have some chances the second half. Carl's volley, uh, uh, Ty's shot, Dino's unlucky with a couple of breaks. Lewis, uh, Josh, when Bill goes down and, and pulls it back, I mean, it's right under your body. We, we did have the chances, but... At the end of the day, first weekend, two games gone, um, four points in the home and away game. It ain't a bad fucking start. And I just said to Sam then coming in, we've already got the same points as we did after seven games last year. So it's not the end of the world. It's not a bad start, four points at all. On to Saturday now. There ain't much turnaround time. Rest your fucking bodies and limbs and ice up, whatever you got to do tonight, ready for Saturday. Man of the match tonight, but, uh, for me, uh, by, by, by uh, uh, some distance, I thought was Mike. I thought he was fucking outstanding. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So well done, Mike. Special shout out, and my art's always going to go. I'm always going to have a bit of favouritism for strikers, because there was a striker, believe it or not, many years ago. Dino's first half performance, the fucking running when you're up there. No cunt near you at times. It takes... A lot of fucking doing, and I know how frustrating it is, but I, I, it's fucking quality. And the selflessness, and there's going to be times this season, it's going to be that. But a special shout out to Dino, because he fucking covered some fucking ground tonight, definitely. But lads, well done, four points after two games. Let's fucking back that up by three points Saturday now, and that's a fucking good start to the season then, isn't it? Okay, so here we are with uh, Mike Gilberson, man of the match today, great performance, and Billy Gilberson. Uh, we'll start with you, Mike. Um, give us your opinion on the game and the result today. 2-2 draw against Bristol Barslinger Reserves. Uh, to be truthful, to, they deserved it in the first half. Quite easily, we were a miles off, just constantly pumped the ball over our heads. Just completely out of it, lack of aggression. Second half, we come back into it, firing on all cylinders. And then it looked like they were panicking a little bit. The strikers were gapping out from their midfield giving it easier for us to pick the ball out, push it up. Got in the box, got a, a decent pen, Callum slotted it top corner, got us back even, and then uh, they looked like they were flapping a little bit. Yeah, so first half, we was obviously playing against the wind and had the sun against us. Uh, second half, as you said, I think we got back into the game, it helped with the wind for us and the sun against them, and probably a game of two halves a little bit. I think we was uh, much better in the second half than we were the first. We'll uh, move over to you, Bill, if we can. Um, just your thoughts on Mike today. Uh, how do you think he played today? All right, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he didn't score a goal like I did, but... <laughs> nah, well, I just set the tone for the rest of the side, especially at the start of the second half. I know he made a few silly fouls, but sometimes that's what you need, isn't it, to get a, get a bit of aggression in the game. And <clears throat> when, when the game gets aggressive, I don't know why, but our side seems to rise to the challenge, really. Yeah, and I think Mike and was the head of that today when he yeah, rose into that challenge. Yeah, starts near enough every game. When it's like that, it's, it always comes from a challenge from him. Sometimes silly, but it's, it's worth it. This yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stick with you again on this one, Bill. Obviously, uh, it's a bit hard to Mike, for Mike to talk about himself, but he's in quite bad form last year. Yeah. Um, struggled to get himself in the team. Probably worried about if he's going to get himself into the first team this year. Uh, he, in my eyes, he's turned that round. What, what do you think of how he's started to the season and pre-season and um, his overall form at the moment? Oh, well, I thought the, 
the same as that. I thought he might struggle, especially Josh Cleveland, got player of the season last year. He's competing yeah. against them. I thought um, Dan Little, what a centre half. Yeah. So for the three of them, it's always going to be a challenge. And I thought Mike's, Mike's delivered so far. And, well, fucking, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Cut! <laughs> the way he's going and if he carries on, could win player of the season, like he's done in the past, he's proved that, he's good enough. Yeah. And, well, it's just such a bonus having someone that aggressive, that fast, that strong in the back, and also getting a lot better at passing the boy, which you see today in the highlights and stuff, but, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, fantastic having him back. Yeah, so moving away from just uh, carrying on talking about Mike, um, obviously we were discussing on the way into the changing room today, but uh, four points out of two games, um, I think John mentioned that last season we were seven games in and we had four points. So, uh, Mike, we we'll go with you on this one. What's your um, thoughts to the start of the season and how the club can progress and hopefully challenge for promotion again this year? Well, yeah, everyone always wants to push for promotion. He wants to win the title. They're, they're winning the league, sorry. So it is what it is. But going on from last season, it was, I just think... For some reason, we just couldn't get ourselves into it. Just we were always leggy into every game. We wasn't hundred percent like more professional this season. Where in the warm ups, we ain't really laughing. We're joking. We're switched on. We're concentrating. We're looking at the other team, seeing who we got. Mark preparing ourselves, taking everything at hundred percent seriously now. Because well, as a club we are, we're growing. We want to just come completely batter the leagues, but can't always batter the league. So we want to go up as high as possible. Yeah, we'll move over to Bill if we can, Mike. Um, just following on really on what Mike said, Bill. Um, start of the season, been much better than last year. Um, one of the things I mentioned to John on the last interview on last week's episode is about it looks like to me the team's mature quite a bit. Yeah. Um, what's your opinions on that? <clears throat> well, it's just more experience. And this is the best thing about Bristol United, I feel, is... It's kind of like we play two seasons a year with our pre-season. Yeah. And for young players like we are, we've got a very young squad. The experience is massive for us. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, the addition of a few top players, like Lewis, the man of the match last game. Today, I'd probably say one of his quieter games, but you look at the highlights, he fucking... Still creating chances. And, still creating chances, yeah. set a goal up. Yeah. Could have had a couple goals still, and it's just... It's just fantastic. Um, thanks for joining us today, lads. Before we end it, uh, Bill, if you could pass over my uh, man of the match trophy for today. Cool. Well done, Mike. <laughs> well in, lads. So a good point away from home. But United will still feel slightly frustrated with the number of chances created in the second half not being converted into goals and three points. To echo the manager's words, it's a decent four points from the first two games, but United will know that if they are to be considered promotion challengers, then going forward games like this must yield three points. Will United be able to build on the good start to the season in their next game? Find out in next week's episode of On The Ball. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the like button and leave a comment and make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. You can also help spread the word by letting your friends and family know about us. There are a number of ways you can support us, one of them being becoming a member of our YouTube channel. There are various membership levels available, all offering exclusive benefits. We look forward to seeing you on our next episode. If you would like to find out more about our club, head over to our website bristolunitedfc.co.uk.